Because right now I'm just playing Met League. What team? What team? TVC. Oh, yeah. 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 Valentine's. Yeah. Jump in chairs. Who's he thinking about that? <laughs> That was mad. I didn't even want to hear that. Can you say that again? No, no, no. Like these are world class athletes to get them in London playing in the British Basketball League. Personally, I think it would have been better. We're <laughs> celebrating like the king, and, and then someone's like, bro, yeah. you know my dog Tanasi. Yeah. Like, Do you say we? See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>
Or maybe, or I hope they have learned from certain things. That's yeah. good. Every experience I had was never a bad one. It was always a lesson Learning. for me. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I guess just for nice. the people that you're with as well, and yeah. you can only hope that. Because I think the line of questioning <laughs> is really helpful because actually for anyone that is about to experience that, about mm. to go into these places, that's listening to this show, also are going to be looking, trying to know how do they deal with those situations. Yeah, I feel so. like you really showed that you can move with grace because yeah. I feel like we're, when I was young, I played in Spain and not knowing that they're calling me monita like a little monkey basically like mm. that was very like my favorite animals are monkeys so i really didn't see nothing by it but mm -hmm. deep down it's yeah. like okay as you grow up you're like wow they're, That's what they're racist do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. but um they're just ignorant yeah. they're uneducated so then when we went to Slovenia, mm -hmm. me and shaquilla and then we got called certain words and stuff or people would stay like boo hello like yeah. now we're like we're fed up yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah. so it's good to know that you did move with grace because I think there's been times where I could have moved with grace, but I chose not to mm. because I was just fed up. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. But um, I, I love that for you. I wish mm. I could have been better in those situations and did what you did. And I think every situation is definitely a learning. Like mm. you mm. said, like in some situations you chose to educate and in others you put a boundary and actually it isn't, realistically whilst we can be the bigger people and choose to educate it actually isn't our job so if yeah. equally you choose not to in some situations i hear it because microaggressions mm. enough is enough at some point yeah, yeah. With, um, with, yeah with that being some of the hurdles that you have to experience professionally or with your travels what are some of the hurdles that you had to face personally so i would say one of my biggest hurdles was three years ago being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So I had multiple brain lesions, which caused me to have issues with my mobility, mm. issue with my sight, issue with my kind of cognitive function. And that kind of just, I think that was just like the tip of the iceberg for me. Mm -hmm. And that kind of ended everything that I kind of worked so hard for. So that would probably be my biggest kind of yeah. setback or hurdle yeah. so yeah. far. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that. okay. So I think that's part of why it's so important to have someone like you here to be able to share your story and your journey because despite your challenges or the hurdles, you've been able to accomplish so much and still inspire people and be able to teach everybody else. The same way you showed how you taught people um, from a place of ignorance about how to conduct themselves you're also being able to teach um, in a space where you may have had your own personal challenges and hurdles but you can share more about how you have overcame them and inspire the next generation as well mm -hmm. and I can imagine that it's probably something that is a process right like you're still going to be overcoming it and actually in the midst of that you're still doing great stuff so mm -hmm. shout yeah out to you. I think disability is another hurdle because it's mm -hmm. like another kind of category that I have to face because mm. obviously there's an issue or not so much an issue for me but my color mm. then now mm. it's disabilities and now it's like another box mm. of things that I have to deal with like there's so many small things that I just didn't understand before mm. so even like public transport me walking upstairs now <laughs> it is so hard mm. and um I just think of what about all the people in the wheelchair how do yeah. they do this yeah. obviously they can't Mm. And I think about all, all the other people with different disabilities because it's like a very wide spectrum. Like, how do they deal with this every day? Yeah. And before, I never thought about anything to do with that because I was kind wow. of in my own world. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I, I like before we even like started the pod, like when we were talking about travel, like you said something that I, I thought was like just such a great way of looking at it. Like you said that like your experiences in terms of travel is a privilege. And I guess actually, like, as you're talking about it, you said you just said that you never had those experiences before, so you never knew. And I guess that's what it's like, right? When you're privileged mm. in some situations, you're mm. so focused on the things that you're trying to achieve and so on that actually a yeah. there's yeah. so much more going yeah. around. Like, so much that we take for granted. Yeah. I always use the example of privilege as, like, you're in a classroom and there's different rows of seats and there's a bin at the front. And the teacher says, gives everyone a piece of paper and says, crinkle it up. And whoever gets it in gets £100. Mm. If you're at the front, you're only focused on that bin. Mm. If you're at the back, you see every every single hurdle to why you're not going to do that. Mm. And no one's looking back for you while you're looking forward. Mm. So, yeah. I that is one analogy, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really deep. Who are you thinking about that? <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> I've got one other question. Like we've done, like I guess we're talking about boxes, right? And mm. it is 
Women's History Month. Like, mm-hmm. has there ever been a point in time where, like, you, you being a woman in sport has always been has has been um, something you've had to overcome? So, not really. That's I would say that overseas, when it came to games, there will be more fans for the men's game than the women's game. But generally speaking, I would say Europe. They're really good with kind of. I don't know, having sponsors for women, make sure all women are paid. Mm. And the logistics of sports overseas in Europe was a lot better than it was in England for me. So I haven't really had anything to kind of... (laughs) I haven't really kind of overcome anything or even access to courts over there is a lot easier. Mm. I feel like, in a sense, more equal to Mm. a male counterpart. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, I feel like it's very different. Like the culture is very, very weird to me mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. it's yeah do you see a growth in uk basketball or could you potentially see it moving more to the european side of things well i'm not really kind of well versed with um basketball here because mm-hmm. right now i'm just playing met league so mm-hmm. i don't really know much what about what team TVC, Thames oh, Valley, yeah. 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 We're in the same league. Yeah. <laughs> see you team. soon. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What team are you? I'm London East. London East. Okay, see you soon. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. We're coming down to that game. Yeah. <laughs> we just won a cup. Just... <laughs> no. Give me your flowers. But, but um, well, like. <laughs> I really do hope there is growth, mm-hmm. obviously with the Lions, because I know you played that. Um, I know mm-hmm. that they... Made the final fours, was that? For yeah. Euro. Yeah. Game Bas- week, yeah. No, Euro. Euro Cup. Euro Euro Cup, Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's really great. I just, it's hard because I think I saw a score between London Lions and I think it was, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> any, <laughs> what was it? Every no, single no, team, any team. Yeah. No, it was like a hundred and something to like 30. I was just like, what? Mm. I was just like, this wouldn't happen overseas. Like it would be like an equal amount because yeah. that yeah. kind of score should be maybe against... Boston and Warriors. <laughs> oh, good one. That was a good one. That was. Thank you. I, I'll give you that one. No, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy, but I do think it's developing yeah. in that sense, and I'm really. It's really good that Lions have what they do because now yeah. girls can look up and watch mm. professional basketball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And be like, oh, we want to be like whoever mm. is playing in the yeah. Lions, which is nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a crazy investment that needs to spread. So hopefully there's an investment that spreads to other teams. I think when you see scores like that, it's so like a big separation. But when you've got like five WNBA players on one, well, four or five players on one team, and then you're going up against like university players. Yeah. I think it shows so much courage for these university players to go up against those um, WNBA players. Because that's like almost a dream, right? To go mm. up against like a WNBA player, and they might even teach you because, you know, it's like they're here for Euro Cup. They're not mm. really here for the Women's League, yeah, but, you yeah. know, they show respect to it. And mm. I think the fact that they still play in those games and mm. they haven't been contracted to not play. Mm. I think that's great that they they still want to bring something to the to this side that's of the sport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's not just like the men's. Dom- I feel like with the men's, it's it's harder for the Lions men's to stay on top because just being an athlete as a guy will get you far. Mm. Whereas a girl is like, it's all about your IQ mm. more or less than just being an athlete all rounded. Mm. So that's how like, it's just interesting. Yeah. I think I just want the investment to spread across the league. <laughs> yeah. And everyone be happy. <laughs> no, that would be nice. Cause what I notice is a lot of teams, mm. they kind of have, like you said, university players so they kind of wrote people in and mm-hmm. then pay for their masters yeah. rather than actually paying for the players. Mm-hmm. And then it becomes, I don't even know, they don't get enough money to bring like high levels like WNBA players. Mm-hmm. So the league's kind of stagnant. Mm-hmm. So you have one dominant team and then you just have the rest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it's based on if that team has money. But yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But That's I don't crazy. get why. Why can't people get sponsors for teams? I I, I think I don't in, this, <laughs> in this country, it's so football dominated, and it has yeah. been since the world began, mm. which it seems like. So it's either football, rugby, or th- when it comes to girls, netball. probably netball. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I think it's still growing. I think we're still years before we see like a big change. Mm. But I mean all saying that I think it, it is happening slowly but surely so and I think the girls that are at London they want the change to happen they're yeah. not here just for the paycheck like they want to be here to see change you know so but I respect talk, that talking of change what inspired you to make a difference and make a change with your organization 
photos for hoops? Mm, I would say my sister pushed me for that mm. because she's always kind of helped homeless. She lived in like Zimbabwe for six months working with people with HIV and stuff. And she was just like, why don't you just kind of do what you do and help refugees and asylum seekers? Mm. And then it kind of just went from that. And then I also got help from Westminster Borough because they sponsored me as an athlete. And then they kind of gave my first funding. I'd done a project and then I kind of just grew to like 15 projects now. Wow. So it's kind of been like two years. I've kind of, I'm kind of more stable now. So I have like the funders or like the foundation of my sponsors And then I'm just kind of grow and grow and grow and hopefully kind of cover all the boroughs in London and help as many people as possible. (laughs) Yeah, and I guess like you've sort of introed it in terms of what um, Hurdles to Hoops is. But yeah, give us the... Give us the pitch, like, or give us the speech. What is the elevator the, pitch? Yeah, Tell us what you're about, girl. <laughs> okay, so Hurdles to Hoops is a safe space for asylum seekers, refugees, and homeless individuals. We provide different activities, so kind of physical activities, mm-hmm. maybe holistic activities like therapies, and it's just kind of a space where people can escape. Mm-hmm. So whether it's their mental health, whether it's their physical health, it will just be a place where people can just come together as a community and it's accessible and it's free. Amazing. And you started this all by yourself, like obviously like with the help of your sister, like encouragement, but you you did all of this like from scratch, like from by yourself. Yeah, because my sister lives in Canada. So yeah. um, she helps a lot with a lot of the admin duties Okay. and then sometimes the funding. But I started by myself and I got assistance from my friend Aya. She mm-hmm. helped volunteer. So, like, stuff like collecting the kids yeah, and yeah, yeah. just, like, coaching and stuff. Because mm. our first project was basketball, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then um, we kind of went from basketball and then moved on to kind of loads of different projects that we have now. Mm. Yeah, you That's incredible. Doing incredible. That is, incredible yeah. work. That's probably, yeah. like, the best thing I heard in my life. That <laughs> is <so> amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. And as someone who has, like, family part of the refugee com- community, like, I can't even imagine how, how much you're helping, mm. like, people from that community because, like there's not that much that many things going on in this mm. country like once you come here you just kind of get left to it so yeah. like you're building a community for these people they mm. get to see each other like meet people of like the same background and mm. i think that's amazing so. yeah and no. i think the storytelling piece as well like you can imagine what they're yeah. sharing with each mm. other how they're probably using each other as therapy as well in terms of how they get through it. Like, Leaning on each other. Yeah, because yeah. then you're, yeah, yeah, it's literally that you're building their community that they yeah. probably didn't have here. Yeah, no, I see it because with a lot of our activities, there'll be like a group that will come together to all the activities mm. or yeah. they'll be like, oh, you come to this one. And it's mm. like, it's nice. It's like a family unit. Yeah. Like it's a home for them outside of their home because yeah. some mm. people came alone mm. or some people came with some family and others are still stuck in the countries. Mm. So it's kind of really nice. Um, I would like to build because still right now I'm the only one working for my company mm. and there's a lot going on, but... In the near future, I would like to become a charity. I'd like to have staff, volunteers, and just kind of reach everyone. Yeah. Like, a lot of disadvantaged backgrounds. Because yeah. it's not just those three disadvantaged backgrounds. Maybe a single mums. Just yeah. kind of provide free stuff and as much as I can. Yeah. Incredible. Outside of this, insane. I'm going to put you in touch with the CEO of Box Up Crime. Okay. Yeah? Because, yeah, I feel like his journey and his story... Um, and how he's done it and some of the sponsors I worked with him I did a bit of consulting work for him how they've gotten to where they are like I feel like he'll have so many connections for you that'll be great thank you I love that that. yeah well I think that that is a that is a lot already of what we're doing um you've shared so much great things that you've you've accomplished that you achieved that you're continuing to do is there any advice that you'd love to leave or share with anybody watching I would say always follow your dreams because I know that although I only got MS three years ago, I'd be so upset if I never followed my dreams for basketball Mm. because for those six or seven years, it was like the best years of my life. So make sure you always follow your dreams, always work hard, have discipline and just enjoy life to the fullest. You know what? I know. (laughs) I know you didn't know this was coming, but you've just... (laughs) 
I was going to wait till the end of the show, but as you mentioned, following your dreams, I wanted to present you with a piece of artwork. I know you're a massive J. Cole fan as well. Oh, yes, I am. Oh. And um, this piece is, says, pardon me if it seems that I'm following my dreams. And this is for you. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so much. I love this. This is so cool. So that's, that's for you. Got... <laughs> yeah, no, really yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to start crying. Yeah, I'm We need to do this more often. <laughs> no, it's no, just so <laughs> wholesome. That's honestly this so wholesome. So cool. yeah, Women supporting women. I needed yeah, artwork honestly. for my house. No Sorry. problem at this all. But um, I know J. Cole is a massive yes. inspiration to myself and, and to you as well. That's your yeah. He's IG like on handle. my game day playlist. <laughs> yeah, he's literally yeah, back to back J. Yeah. Cole's. On Absolutely, yeah. Yes, it's a must. Yeah, so yeah, um, keep following your dreams and appreciate the amazing message that you've been able to share with everybody and just keep inspiring all of us. Yeah. And we're definitely going to stay in touch and hopefully we can volunteer and help where yeah. we can. I think yeah. that would be great. Yeah, yeah we should do like I'll hold you board. guys to that. Half time's coming soon. <laughs> 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 we should do like a I camp. Love that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Camp day, Easter like, camp or something, yeah. 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 That'd be awesome. Yeah. 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 I'm more than happy to I'm do that. I'm definitely down. Same. Yeah. No, that'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that you like um, Eurobasket. Yes. Yep. I've always really liked Euroleague mm -hmm. because I feel as much more technical than the NBA. Mm -hmm. I like kind of learning from different players. My favorite team was Real Madrid because mm -hmm. I really like Campazzo because mm -hmm. he was like one of the shorter guards, but he was just so skillful. Yeah, yeah. Like the way he passes, he had his little stint in the NBA, mm -hmm. but then went back to Euroleague. But for him, for me, just seeing him because I think he was like five eleven or something, and he just he was really amazing. Mm -hmm. And he plays for Argentina as well, which is. The same league as like Jamaica and whatever else, like the America or mm -hmm. the Americas. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I just really liked him as a player. Did you follow Real Madrid when Luca was there? No. So I believe it was the year after Luca. Okay. So, yeah. He was there quite young, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he was like 18 because they have a program where they make the 18 year olds or younger, they join the men's team as well so they can develop. As like mm. reserves almost. Yeah. 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 Which is really good, which England should mm -hmm. take on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a guy that I was like, I feel like this is the... But anyway. Young, young kid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I really so. liked how they do that in Europe as well. Well, we talked about EuroLeague. Let's talk about the NBA, because I feel yeah. as though we need to give Eamon her flowers, because she's always right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks. She's thanks. always right. <laughs> Can you talk to us about what's going on at the Celtics? And well, yeah, the Celtics are on like a... 11-game win streak. Streak, yeah. Um, and yeah, we beat the Golden State Warriors by 52 points the other day. And that was like one of the best games I've seen this season. The Celtics have beat three teams this year by 52 points. So it's pure dominance. Um, <laughs> this is hard. Any more words? <laughs> um, I guess like... Oh, I just need to take a second. Nah, do you know what? I've been yeah, saying I don't want to hear your words about the game. <laughs> How are you feeling? I don't want to talk. Okay, do you know what? When it comes down to the Celtics, yeah, I have been saying that I actually believe that yeah. they're the best. I ha like I put my hands up, mm. Bucks fan, but I got to give it to them. Yeah. And you know what? I got to believe in Eamon. Whatever she says, it is, it's true. <laughs> have you guys lost at home yet? Still no. No, we've lost one game at okay. home. So right. Paul Zingas didn't play. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. So yeah, no, shout out you guys. Yeah. At least it wasn't against the Lakers. But according to the BBC it was, but <laughs> Should we talk about that? I feel like we need to talk about that. We could just touch on it because you know No, that was it. That was it. That was it. Touch Let's it, go back to being there. I actually can't you know believe Sevian said I, that. I, yeah, I know what I'm <laughs> no, that was No, it's that only was... because they mentioned the Lakers, because why yeah. are you mentioning the Lakers? Lakers were getting slandered for no reason, out, right? Why were you getting shots? It was no there was no there need. Was no need for the shots. Fifty two points that was on mad. No I actually want to hear that. Can you say that again? No, no, no. At least I've even said that. Um, I'm actually in shot last. <laughs> Let's give the context because we're here chuckling because we were in the group chat. Um, <laughs> I was not. I was in the sauna. <laughs> Hold on. Ola, <laughs> Ola's tweet was on the Hooper's voice. <laughs> I should buy my tweet. Oh, no. Okay, but let's give the context. So the BBC <laughs> have got licensing to play NBA games mm -hmm. um, over the weekend. Which is great, because it yeah. was like... Free to view. Uh, yeah. Call it for everyone. It yeah. makes the league... Easy times. Yeah, we're not up at two o'clock oh, in the morning. It. Yeah. So it was great, yeah. yeah. And we're, yeah, we're on this side of... We're on this side of the season now where a lot yeah. of these games are going to be 
Uh, entertaining. Yeah, and at better times for us to watch. Yeah, as well. and it's the playoff push, fans, so it's like know. a yeah. Who's yeah. gonna clinch it? Yeah. So, so shout out to the BBC for that. But what I'm not gonna shout them out for was the commentary. So obviously, we've just playing the game. It wasn't just the fact that it was gonna be on and you were gonna listen to US commentary, which personally. I think it would have been better. Instead, what happened yeah. was... No, there was coming? US commentary. It was the analysis in the room. That oh, was the issue. Yes, So yes, let's redo yes. that. So it was going back and forth. In between sort of... I'm coming out yeah. the camera shot for this. <laughs> <laughs> in between, it was going still back a and part forth. Of the show. Yeah, Come back. exactly. Yeah, Come back. Here. In between, the analysis was... What was the tweet? I think it said that this is the worst performance since records began that's why i said something like that but the analysis was it was poor piss yeah. poor piss oh, poor no. <laughs> yeah i think it could have been better i'm honestly like in that part i'm not really listening mm-hmm. um having watched a couple games before and how that went i was like okay i'm, I'm kind of over this that's when the music is up and i'm just watching the game mm-hmm. and yeah that's all i got to say on yeah, that yeah. it was it was really like <laughs> It's really hard. I think in those situations, like, what do you talk about when someone's blowing out a team? But with it being Golden State, go into the archives, mm. talk about what they've achieved, how their season's going, what this loss could mean Higher. to... <laughs> <laughs> like Steph Curry like this yeah. is this is big for Zero him yeah. Yeah. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean there's so Talk much yeah. there's so when much when was the last game that he had this yeah. many points right. what is the difference in the defense and this is it because like, if it was like the Pistons alright now you can say whatever the hell yeah, you want exactly. but now better. it's yeah. This is going to say, you know, this was a team that had a dynasty. Like mm. this is, this mm. is crazy. Yeah. And yeah. so there was so much you could touch on, which mm. they chose not to, mm. which led to everyone being upset. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it, and it, it was kind of hard because like representing the UK, mm. this is what we've got to say about the NBA yeah. is mad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. And we've got incredible analysts here anyway, like oh, the hoop God. genius, yeah, like yeah, Mo. Like he's got experience on his name and mm. it was just more like, than, yeah, and yeah. it was the Celtics game. Yeah. His Mona team, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got statistician Eamon over here. Stat- she can tell you something from twenty eleven. I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess the the feedback from everyone yeah. was really about the fact that they needed different analysts, and yeah. I think it's equally the way. And even the same, if they right? did the same analyst, just be educated in what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah. Like at least watch some games, yeah. um, know what the players' tendencies are, mm. and what Boston did a great. job job of like what they took away from golden state like like talk prep, about that actual yeah. game or prep the chat like, prep the chat do you know yeah, what i mean like, like yeah. there's no point saying oh my god they're just dominating yeah. we can yeah. just wave off like, no yeah. like yeah and i yeah. guess like a bit of empathy that i had for them was that no one expected this to be what they were going to have to analyze mm. like this isn't a, it wasn't expected that it was going to be a blowout like that so actually like but it doesn't change the analyzer, talk. You can still, sorry, you can still talk you about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can still talk about game by game. Yeah. 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 But... <laughs> we, 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 let's just talk about the game itself. Yeah, let's go for that. So yeah, shout out to the BBC. Um, but um, did you see um, Steph's comments after the game? No, about how they? they've never experienced something like this and they used to do this to other teams. Yeah, that That's was, what that I'm was saying. The quote that I was like, are you... Not anymore. Do you know what I mean? What do you say? Like... Being that we used to do this to other teams, I was like, "Are you not embarrassed? Like, if that was me, that whole sentence would not have left my mouth because I don't want that to ever become yeah. a quote that anyone could use against me." That's like when you're reminiscing the past, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're like thinking the about the days. good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's like, but that's what's great about basketball. <laughs> it can flip and flop. Like yeah, that's yeah. what's great about it, and that's where I'm just like, did they not want to adjust? Mm. Not even by the first cue. Like, mm. yeah. I'm just like, you, you didn't want to change anything. Yeah. Leave a man that yeah. open. Yeah. Jalen Brown as well. It's yeah. not like it's like the shittiest shooter in the world. Yeah. It's Jalen Brown. He's paid that much for a reason. And I also think like, if you're if you turned up to a team that has never well, what has only lost one home game, mm. right? You need to know that, like, you need to cover the floor. Like, mm, I don't, yeah. I have no idea why that ever would have been a strategy. You're at their home court and you weren't even playing dominant yeah. enough defense on everyone else, leaving him open mm-hmm. for that to yeah. be the case because everyone was scoring. Yeah, so outside of the fact that he got, what, nine? 19 nine? points in the first quarter. And then nine frees? Yeah. And how many of those were, <laughs> how many of those did he make in a row? He was, on, he was, he like, was just he like, was on like six fire. in a row. Like, yeah. And they were leaving. You see when you play 2K, yeah? yeah? And the fire emoji comes up. <laughs> yeah, that's what man was doing. Yeah, or NBA Jam when it's yeah. like, now you can score but, 10 yeah, yeah. points. At, at, half, at half time, it was 82 points. And in 2K, that's the point where like the opponent quits. was, was it 82, yeah. 30 so, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That was not a fun game. Yeah. I was just like, It was fun. Like, it's I fun for... Celtics fans, I know you loved that, but... 
wanting, wanting to watch basketball, that's when you switch to a EuroLeague game to watch actual basketball. Because what was that? Jordan would have been laughing. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. probably what was. He would have been laughing. Because the next question I have is, are we now in a position where we need to be start, we need to start thinking about whether or not that coach is still right for that team? Is this the season that we need to be asking that question? No, I don't, I don't think this is the season. I think there's still time. I think they've just gone through a lot this season. The whole team needs therapy. Mm. They need... <laughs> They need help. Like <laughs> they just need to um, take accountability yeah. more so than anything. Um, but yeah. I don't think everyone needs to do more. Like you understand, yeah. the ball boy needs to do more. <laughs> Facts. But it's just like, yeah, I, I don't think this is the season. If this happens again next season, then we yeah, raise the question. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think it's only. I'm not gonna say natural, but mm. to have a season where it's bad and then want it more for next season, then I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, given the redemption. Yeah. yeah. And they're allowed yeah. down here. Yeah. But I guess the only reason I'm, I'm thinking about it is that I'm thinking like, how much has changed on that team over the course of a year that actually we've not just seen a steady decline of mm. Golden State? So actually, whilst this is a blowout and it's embarrassing, mm. we've hit rock bottom now, mm. but has there not been a steady decline over the last few years that we could have been asking the question of, actually, mm. is this team still adept for yeah. this but league. their stars are aging. Like, yeah. Yeah, Steph isn't the same Steph he was a few years ago. Mm. Draymond, same. Yeah. Clay, Clay Thompson, completely different player this yeah, season. Yeah. I think it's Off time the for them to adapt away from, you know, their big three and, like, look elsewhere. Mm. And um, you kind of see that with the Lakers also. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same story, which is really bad because without LeBron, without AD, then it's kind of like... Rui Hachimura. You have, <laughs> yeah, you haven't got, you haven't got a winning, you haven't got a winning Not offense. Really getting <laughs> no, I, I really like no, no, Rui. I, I think he's a good player. I mean, but we havenven't got a winning offense and not a yeah. team that plays defense. So it's kind of like without these Did players. You say we? Talking about Lakers. Yeah, but I'm saying we. Okay, no, no, no. no. I'm not about Lakers. What is that? (laughs) Change. Lost myself. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Back in my skin. I I, I didn't even clock that. I didn't even clock myself. You know, I've just been chatting. (laughs) So the Lakers, yeah. I feel feel like it's almost like same situation almost with um, Golden State. Like Mm. without their key players, then... Then what is it? Yeah, because I think, like, I guess, like, as we talk about LeBron and AD, because we can talk about, like, their comeback as well. Mm. I feel like one of the things that we've seen from this season is that we've moved into the dynamic duo season. And Mm. that's the team that everyone's building things based on. And actually, we haven't seen, like, Golden State are not prepared for that in this league. They don't Mm. have that dynamic duo. And neither do Lakers. But because arguably, I would say uh, LeBron and AD are dynamic duo. Yeah, it, when, when they're <laughs> when you. when AD is performing, yeah, um, he's doing well. Yeah, <gasps> so let's talk uh, let's talk about that because I would actually equally say that I wouldn't say that there's a dynamic duo on the Clippers. I just think they're a flipping amazing team. They I think they're awesome. Yeah, but they lost. And I mean, but they didn't have Paul crazy. George LeBron, and Zubat. Uh, Ross, Ross is injured. Yeah. 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 They, they, so. He's having surgery, no? Yeah. So hopefully he'll be back for mm. playoff yeah. season. But I think. Even though they won, to me that changes nothing about the Lakers. I still feel like they're pants. <laughs> Sorry. Can someone check where they are? Do no, still... let's leave it. Let's leave it. We <laughs> still need we'll to be scroll. Back in, we'll, we'll be back in. We'll be ready for the They've been winning a few playoffs. games recently. I don't Maybe. think you're making it, guys. Well, are you? Think. Is it twelfth or thirteenth? You know, I check. Let me check. Let's not check. Keep talking. Talk <laughs> about yourself. But okay, <laughs> they are going up. I mean, they might be, they're probably going up, but I don't think that it's going to change the fact that they're not going to get a ring this year. I don't see them as a championship competing team at all. I don't see that either. (laughs) I'm going to be honest, be realistic. I'm just scrolling. But it has been great to see the dominance of LeBron and turning back the hands of time, essentially. Yeah. That was, yeah. That comeback was pretty. Yeah, Yeah, I told you they're going up. Okay. But honestly, like, that comeback. Exactly. I said we're going to get the playoffs. So that comeback for LeBron was (laughs) insane, though. In that game like that was because if you watch the game I was like alright cool I'm not watching this game no more after the like half time I was like alright cool I'm not watching and then I was looking at the score I was like oh like since when Mm. so it's like when I tuned in I was like this is actually a game Mm. like okay now we're playing basketball but to expect that from a 39 year old is insane do you know what I mean that's what I'm saying without them who's going to be delivering you know what I have on 2k he retired (laughs) we don't want to bring it back he retired I have I have I have have a theory okay I feel like LeBron knows that Bronny's not going to be in the league Mm. 
before he can play with him. Mm. And so I feel like he's Switched smashing on. the records. Because this might be the end. Hey, points. It, I feel like this could, next year could be the last one. Mm. Okay. I feel like next year could be the last one. Mm. And so it's kind of like putting everything out yeah. on the table. He's like in the top 15 in three yeah. point percentage. Yeah. Like he's really hitting all cylinders in terms of performance. To be the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he broke the record the other day, 40K, yeah, 40K points. Do you know what's mad about that? I saw a tweet saying, um, Giannis's brother is 30,500 <laughs> yeah. points away. I think from it's 900. Leave him alone. I think it's 900. Or uh, Yanis's brother. But my thing is, who even like, we're <laughs> celebrating like the king. And, and then someone's like, bro, yeah. you know my dog, Tanasi. Yeah. Like, He's coming for your crown. Leave him. Yeah, Savion, it's funny. It's the books fans that love to slander him more. <laughs> I need to start a Vanessa's fan I feel club. Like, you know them situations, you know, you know like 8 Mile where mm. Eminem goes up and mm. he insults himself so no one can get him. That's what we do with the Bucks. Yeah, so no you don't can't say nothing to me because I already said it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, I think I think there's there's merit in that. But do you feel like, because when I saw, obviously, that um, Bronny is not going to be looked at, it's not Bronny. It yeah, it is. Yeah, I was like, Hold on, did I get the wrong brother? Um, but when we saw that, like, they've taken his name off the draft. The one wasn't happy about all the media attention. Mm. Just like yeah. let him let him play. Yeah. Just let him be a kid. But did you see yeah. the Did you see the tweet that they like? Someone clipped that tweet and also the clip of the tweet that he had the year before when he was talking about why they. No, I didn't. So what someone I can't remember what the other tweet was, but they essentially were like, "Last year, you were basically saying why is there not media but coverage between then and then? Like, Bonnie went yeah. into hospital. Yeah. Like, there's so much that's happened." Good. That Life it's happened. like let yeah. him take a step back, and yeah. as a father, yeah, he's probably Protecting had a real like well. oh my gosh moment, yeah. and realistically yeah. the expectations have have adjusted. Mm. Whereas yeah. before it was his big dream, and he continuously said it would be amazing to play father and son. Yeah, but now so much has changed. You just want to put that pressure on him. There was already and a lot of pressure for him to go into hospital for cardiac issues. So. Yeah, and let him build yeah. his own legacy, yeah. not just do it for his. He already dad. said yeah. he regrets calling him Bronny. Well, oh. LeBron, so that's yeah. why he's... Yeah, yeah. And NBA media running. is ruthless, yeah. so if there's They don't have to stop, yeah. yeah. So. And they're like, you know what, as it's a father, topics, let me put the brakes on this and now and say, look, yeah, yeah. take true. the pressure off him now. And just... It's true. I do think, though, that, like, because I feel like all of us know that that pressure has been on Bronny and also that, um, like, LeBron knows that he is a little bit like, is it LaMelo Ball's dad? Who's, yeah, Lavar Ball. Yeah, that's just like a bit much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so it's a little like, as in the only difference is that LeBron has clout, respectfully, mm. sort of. Um, <laughs> that he can, that he's sort of been allowed to be yeah. that figure mm. for Bronny. Whereas Lavar Ball, Lavar Ball yeah. has got a lot of flack for it. So I also think there's probably something in, if he has had all of these reflections, I do feel like he probably should publicise it. Like whilst you don't have to put your family out there and your your reflections and so on out there he puts so much out there mm. that if you actually want things to slow down you probably need to say something well, he at did. this point yeah, he did he did basically say yeah. that he just I leave my said, son alone yeah, basically yeah, but, I mean, yeah. but more I'm, that, I'm more yeah. about the fact yeah. that okay. I, I have acknowledged that like if you said that okay. I shouldn't have given him this name and so on like I think that acknowledgement is how you get the you media you know what I, le I reckon LeBron will dive deeper into that explanation probably on his show yeah. mm. probably we'll talk about it on the shop or something like that yeah. so I think just in the meantime when these news articles and headlines go out yeah, it's kind of like reacting. quick tweet yeah. mm -hmm. slow it down but I, I reckon LeBron you know when it's like the off season he always yeah. takes time on his shows and feels like he, he goes into yeah. explanations yeah. Yeah. but I really respect that though because even like before he said oh like Bonnie like what have you um, let him be a kid or what have you like I think we all kind of felt it. Like, he went through a lot mm -hmm. in the summer and everything. You know, he's playing great, but it, he still needs to build himself. He's not in NBA, like, he's not there yet. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He hasn't failed no one. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think as a father, like, for that to be, like, verbalised, being one of, the, one of the greatest players ever, it's hard. Because even though you're saying it to him, He's like, no, nah, but dad, you can't. You went straight out of high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you showed them what's up. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it must be hard for him to step yeah. into those boots. So there's so much that we probably don't even understand what's going on in 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 Bonnie's head, mm. what he has to take on, and the way he's moving is so like beautiful. Like he mm. smashed it, and I think being LeBron's kids, yeah. You, <laughs> do you mm. know what I mean? It's mm. like being Chamberlain. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Like, allow him almost. Yeah. We've got to allow him. Yeah, no, it's a word. On a lighter note, has anyone seen the meme about Ben Simmons? No. <laughs> oh, what? Um, so, I think he got into a fight recently. Um, oh, why? 
I can't, I, I don't actually know the details, but the meme um, basically was him like, like basically holding yeah. jerseys with someone else saying, give me a reason not to play this season. <laughs> <laughs> Is he playing right now? Honestly, I don't watch that, <laughs> yeah. so I can't tell you that one. I don't know what's, anyway. Should we talk about women's basketball? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of records, Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is smashing it. Yeah. Leading scorer in the NCAA, men or women. So yeah. that is just leading incredible. Athlete. Just yeah. as yeah. Yeah. It's she, incredible. Um, exactly. Passed Pistol Pete for that one. Yes. And that is an inc- if you knew, know him at college, he was an insane player. The LSU so, player. Yeah. Did you see the picture? Um, the passing the, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Nike. Nike. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to them because that was a great campaign. Yeah. yeah. And I, I loved all the marketing that they did around that. That was yeah. that was special. Yeah. I like when you're like able to elevate players to another level with the, mm. the additional things that you do. And especially for women's sport because mm-hmm. you always see these marketing campaigns for the men all the time. So to have that for women, so it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And I think also like after Serena Williams, yeah. um, when they asked her, I think they said like she's one of the best female athletes in the world. And mm. she was like athlete. Yeah. Like, she period. Was, like, just yeah. clarifying it. I think also for um, Nike, um, <laughs> 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 Nike to do um, that and make sure that everyone knew it was the most points in NCA double A history, yeah. not in women's sport mm. was yeah. really important, especially in this month as yeah. well. Um, but yeah that campaign if you've not seen it go and look at it yeah. it's awesome um, my favourite thing great. about that game was Maya Moore was there and yeah. she doesn't leave her house she for nobody yeah. so <laughs> for her to leave it, her house for Caitlin Clark she it was like you're her like yeah, yeah. you are the moment yeah. so did you that see was so the video nice. of them um, like did me the internet. she yeah. was like yeah. proper fangirl yeah. it was amazing yeah. it, it was, was a, a sweet cute. moment yeah, yeah. Yes. very heartwarming yeah. it's beautiful man shout out to Caitlin Caitlin Clark her the moment, yep. but also Women's History Month, March Madness, all happening at the same time. Are people excited? Yeah. Yeah, Super excited. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. After last year, oh my gosh, yeah. March Madness is taking over the globe now. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think mm-hmm. everyone is like tuning in, watching it. So yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. And like the women's college hoop scene right now mm. is better than the men's. Yeah. So you know, March Madness mm. is gonna go off for the women's this year. So yeah. I'm super excited yeah. too. I think um, they said that viewership of the women's game yeah. um, has been better the whole season. So we're also expecting that it will be going into March Madness. Definitely. Are there any teams that anyone is looking out for or excited? South to Carolina. See? I want South Carolina to go get to the top only because I think that's the only team in the SEC, well, LSU also, that mm. will actually make it. So And they had an unbeaten regular season as well. So back to back. back yeah. yeah. Which is crazy because they were in a rebuilding phase. Mm. So for Dawn Staley to do that is... Dawn is insane. I don't <laughs> think... <laughs> like, if you actually hear her talk, like, face to face, like, this this woman is... Yeah, that, that's her. Like, that's... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's... Yeah, she's about it. Like, she's... She's so goated. cool. Yeah, she's goated, <laughs> man. Like... Yeah. So it'd be interesting how they do, as you said, they're in a rebuilding stage. So... We'll see. I, I do want them to get up there. I yeah. want LSU to have a great one also, but I don't think they're going to... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I think they had a great one last year and they deserve it. This year, everyone's like, all right, stepping up to the challenge. <laughs> yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And rightly so. So, yeah. Yeah. And There's I think a... also they probably saw that it was like world stage as well. Mm. Like now everyone sees that you can be on the world stage. Mm. Like everyone wants, to, everyone be wants it, yeah. to be on it. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone you're looking out for or teams or anything you're excited for? Um, I don't have a favourite team mm-hmm. so far. When it comes to March Madness, I always like the underdogs winning. Yeah. I love those games where it's like one second left. And <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. everyone goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe LSU. Yeah. I like LSU? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I want to see where they go. Um, And other than that, I just... I like watching everyone. Mm. Yeah. It's the beauty of the madness. Yeah. Unless you actually, to some extent, are the underdog this year. Because um, they haven't performed so Yeah, because they amazing, haven't performed. Yeah. Um, and I also think that, I wonder how they are going to perform. Having not performed and having been in the yeah. limelight so much last year, what is that going to make mm. March Madness look like Yeah, and this year, because even though they haven't performed, when they lose, that's the topic. It's not yeah. even like, oh, this team has won. Mm. It's LSU, LSU has lost, yeah. which is insane. Yeah. Like, not really. We got the crown. You're gonna, you're gonna yeah. have people coming for you. So right. when we come True. for the Lakers, Listen. Season, <laughs> <it's great>. in season <laughs> tournament <you>. winners, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the fact that 
<laughs> but it's the fact that like teams are beating like this insane mm, team. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like they're they're about it. Like it'll be interesting. I would like to see a rematch last year. Yeah. I would like to see the same two teams in the final. That would be crazy. And I also... I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, I I would like to see the... Rivalry. Yeah, Yeah. I want to see it again. One last time, because Caitlin Clark declared herself for the WNBA draft. Yeah, that's true. So, that would be iconic. It would also be... Let's do a little watch party. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. It would also be good to see how American media react after everything last Mm. year as well. Mm. Um, Which, actually, is a hot topic in Asia's book. Mm -hmm. Um, If you don't know, uh, she's got a book coming out tomorrow. I believe so. Tomorrow yeah. is the sixth of March for those of Got you a that paperback. Are, yeah, you can out. get the audio book already. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So Sabian's listening to it. I've listened to it. So. Yeah, I'm halfway through. I'm halfway through. <laughs> yeah, me and Eamon got I'm a catch up. The paper, I'm, I'm waiting for the paperback. <laughs> book come, coming soon. Yeah. You're invited. <laughs> come through. Come through. Get the book. Let's chat about it. Um, but yeah, she talks a lot about how America behaved during that period, which is just really insightful to hear. Mm. It. Um, mm. And I think definitely something all women should hear in terms of how it was covered. Yeah. 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 Euroleague. Oh. You're a cup. Euro, Euro Cup. Cup. Talk Insane. to us about London Lions women. Euro Cup women, the London Lions are in the semi-final, which is insane. Insane. They're writing history as we talk. Yes. So it's that's incredible. Their game will be on the 12th of March. So everyone's invited. It, just man. let me know. And yeah, it's, it's just so weird. I feel like I'm their biggest fan. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just weird. I'm, I'm like so excited. All the odds. Yeah. <laughs> They beat everything, but to be fair, they built a team ready for Euroleague, and they just w- they just didn't play well in those games. Mm. But so they should dominate Euro Cup. But to this extent, no one saw it coming. Maybe mm. they did because they knew what they were capable yeah. of. Yeah. But like from the outside looking in, it's like oh my gosh! Like no one's really understanding. Like this is the biggest thing mm. in British basketball. Mm. Like. Yeah. ever like no, nothing else what the men's do doesn't top it mm. what they're doing is like the biggest thing ever and they're really like putting london on the map 100%. Yeah. so it's so it's so sick like mm. it's so sick to see and it's just like being around as it's happening it's like damn like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah do you know what i mean you know, like, your, like your right grandkids yeah. 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 <laughs> so your grandkids yeah like, you see me sitting courtside <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i witnessed that, that. Yeah, yeah. in women's history Month yeah. Yeah. Love it. yeah so talking basketball podcast said they'll love our take on this it was a post that they posted i believe which was around a tweet so actually no it wasn't them brit Beeble truth um the at on Twitter being <laughs> Beeble <laughs> underscore Brit. So like that, a <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, that London Lions Salty women's father. players and staff were informed last week by 777 they would not be entering Euro competitions next season and are looking to cut back on Spain significantly next year. Mm. I think, um, I mean, that's the rumours that at this moment in time, we don't know because we're not in next season yet. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I think London Lions have spent a lot of money though in terms of like entertainment and stuff. It's kind of hard trying to build a culture, a basketball culture in in a country that doesn't um, fund, it. fund it, right? So it's hard for what 777 are doing. Mm. And I think... It, it probably is a conversation that that would happen. I think it's just sad because it's like the girls are really doing so great. Mm. Yeah. But in every, um, if you go overseas or whatever, like every European team, like the men's um, fund the girls. So when the funding isn't coming in for the guys, it's hard to fund the girls. Mm. So it's like, they see no ROI. So it's like, we're just building a gap, a gap, a gap. And mm. it's like, like, what do you do? We've got to cut it somewhere. Mm. It's just, I just hope it's not forever if it does happen. Mm. Um, it's just a shame, really. So that's why, like, this season, get to every London Lion game. Because yeah, yeah. it's like, we, we just don't know what's going to happen next season. And right now, it's just rumours. I hope the players aren't even, like, focused on that. Yeah. They just, mm. like, do what they can right now and, like, leave their names in history. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, that's all we can ask Her for. Story. Yeah. Her story. Um, <laughs> that. No, I mean, it's useful to hear your take because I think, for me personally, like, mm. last season, obviously, I didn't play, but... We we started a new team. It was a team that we had built, been building for like three years. We've mm. been getting women out to play. We had built a pretty strong team. It was with RDF. We won all of our games, mm. apart from 
Did we? You won one, we won one. Yeah. 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 You're the only <laughs> team we lost to. We did, I didn't get to play against you, but yeah. we played against the team. <laughs> played against the team. Yeah. Um, and won the league mm-hmm. alongside these guys. Yeah, we was joint. Versus we London Thunder. We were joint London winners. We were joint uh, yeah, winners. Yeah. Yeah. Joint, um, winners we of the did league. beat you in the tie. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, there was some ref dispute. Yeah. I mean, we had signed the paperwork beforehand, so the ref oh, dispute was valid. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, we um, won the league. But, I know, but we could have retired, apparently. Run it back, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> um, yeah, literally. But what ended up happening around this time as well, um, after having basically being unbeaten, the founder of the actual club, even though we were completely paying our way, made the decision that he didn't want a women's team. team. Mm-hmm. After the men's team had like kaput at some point, they were a national league team, they kaput because they didn't have the right attendance and so on. Um, the kids teams like one by one were dropping off and he made the decision that the women's team was the one to go and that we were the one that were bleeding the money, even though we were paying our way. And oh. I think like that's what inspired me this season to build a team because I was like, you know what, I'll go through the paperwork, I'll 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 pay whatever I need to pay. Mm. We're getting this team back in this league because yeah. we're not getting promoted to not come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I guess like my perspective on that is that I I get it in this mm. situation you're um, losing money, mm. right? And um, it, it it's a business at the mm. end of the day. But like, what does that mean for legacy? When you're building yeah. something so like monumental, uh, historical. Mm. yeah, historical, and mm. actually, this is the point to cut it. Like, if that was, if that, if this was the men's team, I don't think they'll be having conversations about yeah. cutting it this year. No, they'll honestly, next year. they're just bringing next NBA players yeah. like they've been doing. <laughs> they'll pay. It's it's crazy. Um, it's just really hard. It's a hard conversation. I feel like now working in the back of sport is like you kind of have to choose what you want to fight, mm. and I think it's just unfortunate that. London Lions to get these girls in London to begin with like these are world class athletes to get them in London playing in the British Basketball League and then playing in Europe coming from London is huge Mm. in itself because say five years ago that wasn't happening Mm. five years ago London four yeah five years ago London Lions was at the bottom of the British Basketball League so Mm. now they're at the top unbeaten it's like to, to get to that stage that was a journey in itself so now you're now embarking a new journey in Europe and it's sad that it has to end because of financial difficulties whereas the, the talent was there. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven cents. Seven is hard <laughs> it's, like, it's just sad because the talent is there for yeah. them to do well and and go further. It's just the fact that it could potentially end and it has nothing to do with the players yeah. and or it's the coaching business, yeah. or the operation. Mm-hmm. It's just like... It's just, that's, I think that's the hardest part. Yeah. Like, if it was like, the players suck, we're not winning mm. no games, mm. all right, cool, cut it. But it's mm. just like... They're doing so well. Oh, yeah. like, they're amazing. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So I think that's where it's like, it's really salty. Yeah. And I just feel for them. But honestly, like, focus on this season. Mm. Yeah. I equally think the idea that this could be happening and there isn't another funder mm. willing to come in to fund it is also crazy like you were talking about funding in the UK being mm. basically in the bin and that not being the case yeah. elsewhere like this should be something someone's picking up right surely yeah I thought Sport England fund like national lottery mm. so I thought that was something that people can get because that's like a million pounds of funding mm. and there's like so many small businesses that you can kind of latch on to yeah because I had like I was in a very small town in Denmark and we had a hundred sponsors. And See, I just, I your like, uniform must have had boom. Literally everywhere from yeah. the shorts to the tops, like mm. you just had everything. Yeah. And for me, it was just normal. Mm. So like coming back to England and only having players that get to play if you're joining the uni, it was just, mm. I was just kind of confused. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I just feel like, like you said, they've been very successful this season. Why isn't there anyone looking, or mm. why isn't there someone within the club looking for different funders? Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. could like get sponsored by anyone. Because mm. like you're proving that yeah, we can compete. We're winning. Like yeah. mm. it's, it's not like the men's where like they go so far and then they just end up losing. Mm. I think it's like internal conversation. I think they are looking for um, sponsors. I think it would be weird if they never, yeah. if they yeah. weren't. Yeah. I think it's the attendance that comes with it. Because to <laughs> To buy to have the copper box for one night is already a fortune, mm. and then to have no one turn up in the copper box that night, it's like okay. Yeah. So as a sponsor, you're like, Bro, when do I get my money back? Loss, do you loss, know what loss, I mean? Loss, yeah. So it's it is a lot. I think just building a community around basketball in London, which is crazy because if you go to like Leicester or if you go to Newcastle and you play in those games, like 
it's packed out for the girls. Mm. Like they're like ride or die fans. And I think, I don't know how, but we need to kind of bring that to London. I don't know mm. why it's not in London, which should be like the mecca of basketball really. Mm. You see everyone so like, Good Manchester's yeah. another like good team. It's always packed out there. <laughs> so you're waiting for me to. I said Leicester, I said Newcastle. <laughs> what about Manchester? Damn, Paige. It's like yeah. So it's like I don't understand why it's not packed out in London, but it could be packed out in yeah. the likes of Manchester or. Bro, I was gonna say like bring multiple teams to London. Like, yeah, London's oh, so true, big. Yeah. Why do we have like only one London team? It's just so expensive. Because yeah. so, then you got to think about they're in East London. Okay, mm. now they've got to live in East London. Mm. Now they've got to commute in East London. Do you know how expensive it is to commute in London mm. itself? It's like, yeah. it's money left, right and centre. Mm. So, and it's not like they're living in, they're living in like Canary Wolf almost. So mm. it's like expensive. Yeah. London is so expensive. It's already hard mm. for Londoners to live in London. So yeah. imagine like bringing a professional basketball team. Yeah, really There's so many like London. expenses that people yeah. probably don't even think about. Yeah. And It'd be fun though. Mm. Imagine be like fun. South London versus like East London. Uh, South London, South London, South, South London, South, South London. London. What was the team? What was the team? London City Royals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Really like, that was and they they folded. Yeah. So it's yeah. like after Basketball. one season, right? And they did no, good. Two. two seasons? Oh, yeah. They did good. They did really well. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Oh, basketball in London. <laughs> so we're going to do the Perry Perry meter with the WNBA jerseys. So let's start with ATL. What are you guys saying? Hot. Uh, you say medium? I'm going medium for both. Yeah, yeah, same. It's not speaking to me. Yeah, it's just like... It's just a... It's kind of mild. It's, it's, you, you see it mild? mild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's amazing. Yes, quite let basic. me know your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We should do the NCAA ones as well because them ones are basic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I go mild. I do like the Chicago one next to it though. Yeah? I think yeah. Chicago's hot. I like the blue one more than I like the other one. I don't know. Oh, really? I don't yeah, like I it. I the black one. I, the I prefer black the black one. one. I feel oh. like... I feel like the blue one is quite mid. I feel like that's lemon and herb. It's, it looks like lightsabers, like you do on like... <laughs> <laughs> you see when you be like doing clip art and you just be doing bare lines everywhere. Like... Laser quest. Yeah. You know what I was thinking when I saw it? I was like, this jersey is better than the blue Bucks jersey. I would prefer that than the current Bucks jersey. That blue one, I think that blue one is trash. You love slandering your team. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... It's a mild for me. I feel like the Connecticut Suns, like, it never really changes the no, orange one. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Medium. Yeah. I think that. Mm. I'll say mild. I'll mild. say lemon and herb. It's really. Ooh. Ooh. Lemon and herb. Okay. You're hey, half yeah. basic. Hey. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> very wow. basic. Wow. Oh, just, it's it's no orange in yeah. this summer. She was saying tough. she's used to the logos everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So. She wants some life to it. Yeah. Give it some pink. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas. Yeah. I, I'm not really I'm not really feeling it mm. so I want to go for Same. mild what's below mild lemon plain? and herb plain. lemon and herb Same. okay I'm going for plain because that is terrible yeah <laughs> it's just not fun it's not it's giving mild. it's true it's true I feel like if you're going to do navy blue you have to do a colour that pops you can't mm, do yeah. white like black and white is classic but navy blue and white is a bit like why it's almost giving Reebok <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, it's in, yeah and I like that team it's a shame you do like that team because of your one <laughs> girl. Enrique, yeah. man. Shout out to Enrique. You, you will know my name one day. <laughs> we'll friends, what I have you see. here? I think it was her birthday recently. Oh, of course you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so the FIFA. I do hot. Like, yeah, yeah, I do like the pinkish. Hot. Hot. Yeah. I like it. I like, I like both of their jerseys. I'm yeah. not sure, you know. I feel like that colour is really like... I think the colour's a bit hit and miss. Maybe it's my glasses. I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's given yeah. diva. I yeah. feel like it's too shiny. You it's giving so. statement pieces. That's I awesome. like shiny yeah. jerseys. Bring back the shiny jerseys. Yeah. I love that era. Like basic. Yes. Then shiny, but then those shiny jerseys, they'll have, when you sweat in them, they stick. They stick. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a little bit annoying. I remember Boston, <laughs> we had our shiny jerseys. We had the, the, the red ones. Yeah, and the black ones, it did a bit sticky, yeah. but I like I the look. That, like, yeah. you know, that old school Camellos, yeah. Nuggets jerseys. It's the Lions jerseys. Them, they stick. The aces. aces. Yes. Yeah. Hot, I like hot, it. Hot. hot. I like uh, how the aces go down. It's like different because yeah. everything's vertical for the rest. The detail. Yeah. I think yeah. I just like the aces because I, I love Asia. So. <laughs> so whatever she wears, I know it's going to look good. So I'm yeah. like, okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the sparks. Yeah. I think that their blue one or purple one 
that needs to change. That has never changed. That's yeah. that spot. I feel like they but could it's like do classic s- jersey. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they could do like so it. much more with the sparks. Like mm. it's basically they just put sparks in italics <laughs> and put a little like yeah, they could do a little better. a little star on top. Like do something a with firework. That. Got, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, a like, spark. It's, it's, it's <laughs> spark cloth. <laughs> yeah, that's mid. Man. I'm giving that mild. I think, mild. I think it's oh. cool. Oh, I was gonna say it's like I'll say oh. hot. Yeah. I like yeah, it. It's I'm medium. Okay. I feel like they're consistent. They have yeah. their brand and they're mm. going with it. Yeah. Maybe it's because I don't like the brand. I think the brand should be better for the team. Oh, Fair yeah. They've got too much history for that to still be what Lisa Leslie was wearing. <laughs> it's true. Fair. 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 Links, okay. Um, I'm gonna say that's mid medium. It's not yeah. doing anything fun. It special. looks like the Minnesota Timberwolves uniform. Almost, yeah, so. pretty much. No yeah. creativity there. Mm, plain, plain, mild. I'm going plain. Yeah. Because mm. I think if you're gonna, like I said, black and white, you have to make it classic, and yeah. that is not classic. That is, um, you know, when you get the Nike jersey for free. And then you just go and print it somewhere. You know what's <laughs> so <laughs> mad? One year, at, one year at Europeans, yeah, we didn't have no jerseys or nothing. Like, I don't know what happened, but we didn't have it. So <laughs> they bought Nike t-shirts and just printed British Numbers. basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so insane. Yeah. And I was like, we were so thankful for our, our team manager for doing that because we, we had no jerseys. Like Crazy. when we got our jerseys, yeah, we don't know who gave them to us, but like it was high school musical like the shorts were going down to my to my ankles like i'm gonna get you a picture it was so insane and it was so baggy and it was like bro like we're actually representing the country in a whole different country and this is what you're giving us to wear safe like it was it was so insane okay the new york liberty one extra hot i love both their jerseys like both of them are like incredible yeah i love the equality 10 out of 10 Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Um, medium really Is it because you don't like the team? No, no, I love the team. It's been on. But I just... um, You've seen this jersey too? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you're tired of it? Yeah. Yeah. I love this one. It's 10 out of 10. I'm sorry, Paige. But when did they they launch the equality change? I feel like that was last year. Yeah. Yeah. It's bought. Like, there's nothing special about this jersey. But no one else has done that. I think that's why I was like, oh, yeah, I rate it. And the eye is the torch. Yeah. (laughs) No, so Um, so amazing. Okay. (laughs) Phoenix. I'm going extra hot. Yeah. I, really I like see, yeah. Jersey. I love Phoenix jersey. I love it. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they never miss. Bro. Even it, the men. It's tough. Yeah. 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 Extra hot. Extra there, hot. That colour palette. I'm sure it's the bum bum. <laughs> 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 love it. Facts are sick. Seattle um, Storm. I feel like it's classic. Like, mm. this is a classic yeah. that I can yeah. respect when there's not a Sonics. Yeah. So, like, I'm going yeah. hot. I say yeah, hot. Yeah, same. Yeah. Hot, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then the mystics. I think this is mid. Um, I'm, I'm, I think this is in the bin. I feel like the first one, like you can't even tell it's the mystics. Mm. It's like rise. why is it pink? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. I feel like just like Washington Wizards, this is a terrible jersey. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring. Like you know how the, the the men they have like the white panel. I just think that that yeah. looks stupid. Like mm. it's not football. Um, and so. I feel like this <laughs> this reminds me of that. Maybe it's the writing or something about it, but I just think it's boring. Yeah. Um, it oh, that's it. They're plain. the only. They're the only team that have a color here. Can you see it? They're the only team that have a a, a different color on this. On part the shoulders. Yeah, mm. and I think it just makes it look really childish. Reminds you of like a netball, like the top part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A shout. A shout. Yeah. Yeah. Plain. Plain. Yeah. They didn't come to ball. I mean, they didn't. <laughs> yeah. mediums. I like Steam the chicken. other jerseys. Yeah, nicer, the other though. one. I like yeah, the, the rise one. is better. Yeah. I feel like that graphic of that line could be a bit different. <laughs> hi, hi, I mean, guys, it's been more than ball. It's been Women's History Month. And thank you so much, Charlotte, for joining us. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Feel so free to come you. anytime you want. Honestly, and call us for yeah. half term. Yes, yeah. like, volunteers. Yeah, we're about to <laughs> You're patients. hired. Yeah, 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 we'll be there. Seems like the apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. That's a wrap. Her story. <laughs> <laughs>